Dear buddies, to be honest, I didn't think I would ever make this video. As far as I was concerned, the amount of suffering I went through during my school years was enough to make me bitter. I don't forgive you, I will most certainly never forget. I remember those years like it was yesterday. The crew were name calling, criticising and how I looked, what I said and what I did. Wrong face, wrong size, wrong personality. No matter how hard I tried to understand, it felt like the world was just telling me that I didn't belong and I would never. Dear victim, every day you get bullied, it makes you stronger. You're perfect. Every single one of you are perfect. The bullies are just jealous of you. Wipe them off. I'm jealous of your hair, your style, your smile, your personality, and everything about you. No bully will ever bring you down. Don't lock yourself away from the world just because of one or two or group of self-centered people. They're just bullies. Dear world, this is the fun one. Look at yourself. Stand in the mirror and look at yourself. You have all been a victim, and you have all been the bully. Remember that kid you laughed at, at in school for tripping over? Or remember that old man you wouldn't speak to because he seemed a little bit weird? Because he seemed a little bit different? That is bullying. Every single one of you have bullied. Every single person in the whole world has been a bully. But every single person has also been a victim. Every single person has bullied another human being. Another person on this world. But every single person has been the victim. Once in your lifetime, you have been the victim. But you've also been the bully. How does it feel? How does it feel to know that you're the other reason the son goes home every night and cries? How does it feel to be the person that fell? Or the old man that looked a little bit different? How does it feel to be the person that everyone laughed at? Not nice? Then why do it? Dear teachers, this is the one that gets me the most. Stop telling kids to come to you if they are being bullied. To not do nothing. Remember that time you told the whole school, you stood in front of the whole school and told them, if you were getting bullied, come to me. Remember? Remember the time that pupil, that one pupil out of all the school, picked up enough courage to come and tell you that he or she is getting bullied? And when he finally did, or she finally did, you put the bully and the victim in the same room. You put them there to speak to them both at the same time. Remember that time you told them both to just shake hands and be friends? And the bully agreed with you? For him just to walk out of the room and bully the victim even more for being a snitch. Dear bully, why do you bully? Why? Does it make you feel better? Does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel happy? Have you ever stopped? Stop the thought about what you're making your victim feel like? Have you ever thought about your victim's feelings? Or even yours? Have you ever thought that maybe once in your life if you're kind it will make you happy? That kid you bullied for being poor when you was both kids, he's grown up to be rich. That old, that old man you laughed at for having scars, he fought for your country and your lives. Just stop. Stop and think. Ask yourself. Ask yourself why do you even bully? So bullies, why do you bully? Dear victim, don't worry. Honestly, do not worry. Your bully will grow up, your bully will start to understand why he is doing it or why she is doing it and how it makes you feel. I've been bullied myself, I've been there myself and I know exactly how you feel. Every single person who has walked or breathed on this world has been bullied. Everyone has been the victim. Sometime in their life they have been the victim, even if it's just for 10 minutes. No one is innocent. Everyone has two sides, the left and the right. The left is the good, the right is the bad. Everyone is a bully, but everyone is a victim. I know, ask yourself, why do we walk away? Why do we have to put up with this stuff? Your bully is just afraid. It's afraid of actually wanting to speak to you and try to be a friend. He's jealous, he's, you know, they're confused. Please, if you are the victim, go and speak to someone you trust. Go and speak to someone you love and trust and 
just speak to them and try and get them to understand that you will be embodied because it's the best thing you can do. Don't walk away or hide yourself away because it'll make things worse. Don't bottle it up because every bottle explodes. Victims, we're all victims and we all love each other. Dear world, I blame you. I blame everyone. I blame myself. Every single person who have walked on this world have been a bully. Why do you walk past someone who is being bullied? Why do you walk, someone past, walk past someone who is being bullied? Why do you scroll down your Facebook page and see someone bullying someone and just keep scrolling? Why don't you stand up? Because you're afraid. I'm afraid. Everyone is afraid. That's why we bully and that's why we let ourselves be the victim. But that's what the bully wants. We want, they want us to be afraid. But no. Why? Why should we? Stand up and walk. Walk away from the past and the bullies, but don't walk into them as well. Why bully each other for their skin, their colour, who, where they're from, who they are? Why? Why do we do it? What actually goes through our mind when we bully? Everyone does it. And the world is to blame. Everyone is to blame. We let people bully. You let people bully. Everyone lets people bully. But we let everyone be the victim. You need to stand up. We need to stand up. The world needs to stand up and take over. Dear teachers, this is one that I think you all need to listen to, teachers. Because you wonder why your school is being taken over by bullies. You wonder why people are too afraid to come to school and students are lacking in education. It's because you don't actually do what you're telling them you're going to do. You tell them that you're going to help them if they're being bullied. You tell them they're going to stop the bullying. Yeah, okay, you do to an extent. But the bully gets worse, the bullying gets worse. They hide away. The victim hides away behind a wall. Even It's even happening underneath your noses in your classrooms. I've been there myself, I've seen it myself, and I've been through it myself. If you are the head teacher and you're the one who's telling the body or the school that you're going to stand up to body and stop body, you need to actually do it. Don't take the te don't take the two people, the body and the victim, put them in the same classroom and speak to them. Don't. It'll make it worse. You take the body or you take the victim, you get his side of the story, her side of the story. You get the body, you get theirs. Fair enough? They could both lie. But the bully is the one who's being bullied. They're the ones who's been pinpointed to the bully. You need to exclude the bully, even if it's for just two days, one day. Or just separate them. Teach them a lesson. Don't let them walk back through your school proud and happy because he's been the one who's bullied. Sometimes bully likes being, likes being pinpointed as the bully. It makes them stronger. It makes their ego bigger. Exclude them. Get them out of your school and invite them back if they want. That's how you stop bullying. So, ask bullies, why do you bully? Why do we bully? It needs to stop. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, person, verbal, physical, everything. Bullying is everywhere. Everywhere you go, there is a bully. Kids are too scared to walk the streets, go to school, go on Facebook, say anything. Kids are too scared to do anything because they know or they think they're going to be victimized to the bully. Bullies need to stop and understand why they're bullying. Maybe they need to open up and speak to someone. Maybe they just need help. Maybe they're afraid and they used to be the victim. Now they bully to make themselves stronger. So dear everyone who's watching this video, please stand up to that little bully, speak to him, try and understand why he's doing it. Don't feed him with negative negativity or arguments. Don't fight back. That's what he eats off, that, that what makes him stronger. Remember that saying when he was a kid, Sit, sticks and stones may break my bones but names will never hurt me. Trust me, names hurt. Names hurt a lot more than sticks and stones. They may break your bones but hurt, name Names hurt more than anything. Every single name you call a person hurts them deep inside, even if they don't show it. Why do we put up with it? Why 
If you're sitting there and you're watching someone being bullied, you're also the bully. You may think in your head, I should stop this. You may think that it's cruel. I don't, I never bully. But you're the bully by sitting there and watching it. If you're sitting there and watching someone being bullied, go over and tell them to stop. If you're scrolling down your Facebook page and you see someone being bullied, tell them to stop. Because bullying don't just hurt people, it don't just hurt their feelings, it kills. And that's what bullies don't realise until it's too late. So hopefully after this video you'll take one thing in mind. That bullying is wrong and bullying needs to stop. Because I've been bullied, I've been there. And I know that bullying hurts and I know that it needs to stop. And I've stopped bullying myself. I've been there for people when they've been bullied. And I've seen the outcome, what stopping a bully can do. A bully can actually be a really nice person. But it's going through problems that need helping before it can be solved with bullying. So please, if you see one person being bullied in your whole life, even if it's just one person you help, just help them. Because they could be on the edge of wanting to go kill themselves. You don't know what's underneath their clothes. They could be scars. Even if it's just in their mind, they could be scars. So trust me, help the person you see bullying. Help stop bullying. Because I promise, it's a good feeling when you do it. And the bullies, please stop. Just even if it's for a day, make it stop. Because once you stop for a day, hopefully you'll stop for your lifetime. If you don't, then please speak to someone. Because I can promise you, once you speak to someone, you will not want to bully anyone. I love every single person in this world. I don't care about their colour, their size, their hair colour, their size, their style, their personality. I don't care about nothing. As long as you are who you are, I will love you and I love the world. So stand up to bullying and stand up for yourself. Just walk away. Everyone, stop bullying. Bullies, why do we bully? Bye.